In EastEnders, George reconciles with his critically ill mother Gloria, prompted by Phil Mitchell's advice. Linda fabricates a story to the police about Keanu's murder. Meanwhile, Bernadette leaves Albert Square upon hearing of her brother's death. Ben faces a heart-wrenching departure from Walford due to legal troubles in America. Actor Max Bowden advocates for checking on friends after personal losses. Spoilers for EastEnders, George Knight reconciles with Gloria, who is gravely ill. George Knight reconciles with his mother Gloria Knight in emotional sequences in EastEnders tonight at 7.30 p.m. Gloria regains consciousness in the hospital after having a heart attack during Eddie Knight's murder trial. She begs George to go get a box from her apartment that has significant memories from his early years. When George found out that Eddie had killed Henry Kofi Asare, his biological father, in a racially motivated incident, his entire world fell apart. Ever since, George has been in a desperate search to learn more about his biological parents. When George gets to Gloria's house, he finds the box and is overcome with nostalgia for his childhood. George then makes his way to the boxing den, where he meets Phil Mitchell, a man going through a similar family issue. Phil says he recently learned that his son Ben will not be returning to Walford anytime soon since he was given a six-year prison sentence in the United States for a prior offense. This realization shakes Phil, who reminds George how important family is and convinces him to go back to the hospital to make amends with Gloria. George joins Gloria on her bed as mother and son get back together. Together, they go down memory lane and listen to the recorded lullaby that George's biological mother wrote. In the meantime, Linda Carter fabricates a tale to the police about what happened the night Keanu Taylor was killed. Christmas Day, after Keanu tried to choke her best friend Sharon Watts to death, the landlady killed him in self-defense. After debating whether or not to confess her crime, Linda ultimately chooses to provide the police with an altered account of what happened. However, the police soon start to wonder why she hasn't revealed this information earlier. Is the secret about to be revealed? After learning of her tragic death, Bernadette Taylor of BBC EastEnders leaves Albert Square. Bernadette Taylor of the popular BBC One soap opera EastEnders is leaving Albert Square next week after receiving some devastating death news. Next Monday, Bernadette Taylor of the popular BBC One soap opera EastEnders will depart from Albert Square. This week's scenes will eventually reveal Keanu Taylor's body, months after he was killed by Linda Carter. Watchers are aware that on Christmas Day, Linda, who was attempting to shield Sharon Watts from Keanu, fatally stabbed him with a meat thermometer as Keanu was choking her. The crime and their respective roles in it were subsequently covered up by the six, which were Sharon, Linda, Suki Panasar, Stacy Slater, Kathy Beale, and Denise Fox. While Keanu's body was buried beneath the cafe's floor, the women reported to the police that Keanu had attacked Nish Panasar and was running away. However, given that a corpse was discovered in the cafe this week when the floor collapsed, this falsehood and his actual fate appear to be revealed in the upcoming weeks. Next week, after the terrible and depressing news, everyone in Albert Square start chatting about what they found last week, and Bernie, who has just found out that her brother has died, has the support of her neighbors. Later in the week, according to spoilers, Bernie travels from Walford to see his mother Karen Taylor in Spain and breaks the news of Keanu's passing. Fans of soap operas will remember that Karen moved to sunny Spain last year from Walford. After accepting full responsibility for the planned abduction of Albie, Sharon, and Keanu's son, Karen departed in a cloud of suspicion. Taking Phil Mitchell's money, which he had given Sharon to pay off the kidnapper, she made the decision to permanently leave the square. In an attempt to locate her son Keanu, who was thought to be missing at the time after reportedly attacking Nish on Christmas Day, Karen made a brief comeback earlier this year. However, the six and viewers of soap operas were aware of the actual events. But Karen was back in Walford, demanding an explanation for her son's disappearance as the six members pretended to be guilty before making their way out once more. Lorraine Stanley will probably be concentrating on her new life in Spain with her family, therefore this will be her last appearance on the BBC soap opera, at least for the foreseeable future. But given the tragic news of Keanu, is it possible for Karen and Bernie to reconcile? Permanently removed. Ben Mitchell's recast assumptions are completely appended by EastEnders' heartbreaking finale. This article includes spoilers for Monday's episode of EastEnders, which you can view on BBC iPlayer right now even though it hasn't yet aired on television. 
With a heartbreaking plot twist, EastEnders has dispelled fans' assumptions that Ben Mitchell is going to be recast. To his family's dismay, Ben was taken into custody last week on suspicion of perpetrating fraud in the United States. Ben insisted he was innocent, but it turned out that after his own credit card was denied, he had taken someone else's and used it to make several purchases. Callum Highway flashed his police badge and made it down to the cells, where he and Ben had an emotional parting after learning that Ben had been denied bail and that he had missed their chance to say goodbye. In defiance of solicitor Richie's advice, Callum asked Ben to enter a guilty plea before bidding him farewell and pledging to wait until he got home. In later moments, Kathy Beale received bad news from Callum when he arrived at the Queen Vic. Ben had entered a guilty plea, he explained, and the next day he was scheduled to be transferred to America. The idea of losing her kid devastated poor Kathy, who was already distressed by the return of Sharon Watts and the missing murder weapon. Heartbroken Callum did his best to comfort Kathy as she sobbed as they discussed what life would be like without Ben. Ben has been portrayed by a variety of actors over the years, so many fans have been wondering if he will be replaced after Max Bowden's departure. However, it appears that he will be serving a significant amount of time in prison. Is this the final time we'll ever see Ben, or will he eventually make his way back to Albert Square? Max Bowden of EastEnders asks you to follow up with your friends following heartbreaking losses. After some devastating losses, EastEnder Max Bowden has asked people to follow up with their pals. The BBC One soap opera Ben Mitchell is the actor's most well-known role. It was revealed in recent episodes that Ben's leaving plot would center on his arrest for fraud committed while he was in the United States. Max has informed fans that he is working on a project that is close to his heart in addition to playing the lead in the 30th anniversary production of Birdsong. Max wrote, Up and out early this morning filming something mega important and close to my heart, beside a photo he shared of himself in a car. I'll keep you updated. I hope you have a fantastic day. Tell a friend you love them and check in with them today. In 2021, Max lost a lot of pals, including Maxwell, his best friend. Maxwell passed away from an undetected brain tumor. In the midst of an EastEnders plot last year that saw Lola Pierce, Danielle Harold, receive a brain tumor diagnosis, Max took to Instagram last year to discuss Maxwell's passing, telling followers My World's Best Friend passed away from an undetected brain tumor 21 months ago. We spoke on the phone for an hour on Friday afternoon about Ronaldo's return to United, 24 hours later, he fell into a coma and never woke up. Additionally in 2021, Max lost his friend Luke Goodings and was saddened to learn that Terry Mills, his partner and celebrity agent, had died after a fight with COVID-19. He frequently posts inspirational messages on social media, and at the beginning of the year, poet Hussein Manowar requested him to recite one of his poems, You May Have Died, But You Are Still Alive, in front of the camera. Max recently posted an emotional farewell message on social media to signify the end of his tenure on EastEnders. Being the sixth actor to play Ben, Max thanked fans for supporting his interpretation of the character alongside a promotional photo of Ben outside the arches. Well, folks, now is the moment, he wrote. It has been an incredible journey. I'm grateful that you all embraced Ben and accepted my interpretation of him. I will always be thankful to EastEnders for helping me get through some really difficult personal circumstances. I enjoyed an incredible five years there and learned so much about myself and the craft I adore. I truly can never express how much gratitude I have for all of the support from the show's fans, they are incredibly devoted, kind, and passionate, which inspires us actors to never stop trying to be better. I truly appreciate every single person who has offered me encouragement over the past five years, I love you all. Ben Mitchell's 6.0 was over and out, he continued, before waving adieu to EastEnders and telling his castmates he will miss them. Please subscribe our channel.